Hey, welcome back to another H1 video. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a keyboard case for the new iPad mini six. Let's check it out. Okay, so like I said, welcome back to another H1 video. And if you're like me, you love your iPad mini. I love my iPad mini. I currently have the Apple little folio case on it. And like I said, I absolutely love it. However, there are some circumstances where I wish I had a keyboard attached to the case. That might be because I have my iPad Air with the Magic Keyboard, but it is kind of nice having a little keyboard or maybe some type of case with a stand. So I've been on the hunt for the best keyboard case for the iPad Mini 6, and I think I found it. So let's get into the unboxing right now. Uh, so this is the F22 Wings keyboard case. Now it's supposed to be very similar to the Folio uh, style case from Apple, but with a keyboard attached. Uh, I don't know, it looks really cool. It was only like 40 to $50 on Amazon, so I had to pick it up and do a review for you guys so you can check it out, and so I can check it out. Now again, affiliate link will be down in the description below, so you can check it out and pick it up for yourself, to see if you want it. So as you can see, it does say F22 Wings. Again, Amazon affiliate link down in the description. Let's get into the unboxing here. Uh, so one thing to note here, and I do kind of want to talk about, um, it does say it has about a 30 hour standby time and 150 milliamp battery. Now, one thing I want to know is the description of how much use you can get out of it was a little, well, it left something to be desired because I couldn't get a consistent answer on Amazon. Some of the things that I saw said you could get up to 100 hours of on off use. Others said more like 40. I don't know, with, but with 30 hours of standby use, I don't know how you could get 100 hours of on and off use, but I don't know. It says it could fully charge in two hours. I don't know. All that battery stuff seemed a little sketchy, so just know you might have to charge it a couple times. I can't give a review on the battery life because one, I'm not going to do crazy testing to test the battery life on my own. If you want to test it, go ahead. For me, it's going to be used so infrequently. I, I don't know. I, I probably wouldn't really care too much but all right so here we got the keyboard case we're gonna put that over to the side and see what else comes in here so it looks like you do get a user manual and some instructions good to know we're gonna save that and then here we go with a little box I'm assuming this is gonna be the charging cable Let's see if I assumed it correctly I did Okay, so it looks like it's going to be a USB-A and some type of magnetic charging cable here. Which is interesting, maybe kind of a bummer. Um, you know, it's proprietary, so that might be a big uh, turnoff or let down to a lot of people because don't lose this. That's what this means. Don't lose it if it's proprietary. But let's check this out because this is what I'm really most excited about. Okay, so we'll take this out of the plastic. Ooh, right, feels nice. The material does feel very similar to the Apple official silicone case. It's kind of like silicone-y material. Um, very similar feel. Um, try to put it down here so you guys can really see it. I mean, I mean, it's pretty thin if you're looking at it like this. I mean, wow, I'm pretty surprised here. Ooh, it's magnetic. So it's gonna stick magnetically to your case so you don't have to worry about like a I don't know, sometimes you have to like push the case in, you know, like into like a normal type of case, the iPad into a case, excuse me. Uh, this just attaches magnetically like the Apple official one. And then, you know, you got a keyboard with the function row. I mean, it looks like a, what a full size keyboard could be on the iPad mini. And then, yeah, okay, not bad. Let's uh, put this on the iPad and see how well it works. So again, this connects just via magnet. So you take this off, it's literally just, Boom, magnetic, super easy. And it should be just as easy to attach to this. So, um, you know, just there's the camera hole. You're gonna align it to the camera hole and it all should stick pretty well. I mean, yeah, iPad is on there. That's impressive. And then it closes, okay. I mean, it's pretty thin. I mean, the keyboard adds a little bit of bulk, but I mean, it's balanced really well, so I don't know, kind of a big fan. Now, you might be asking, so you have it like this, how is the iPad gonna stand up? Well, it has a neat little trick here. So you hold hold the iPad like this, 
and you can actually undo the top magnets. Get it in camera like this, like that. See, it slides off a bit, so it's still being held by the bottom. You hold it and it just bends backwards like this. But it's still held on with the magnets on the bottom of it. And then you just, I'm gonna try to get this on screen here, so I gotta move it way back, like that. So you just move it back and it's held on. You can see this, right? Y'all are, are able to see this? But yeah, y'all can see this, right? This is pretty neat. It's literally being held up by itself. And then when you're done, you just, I don't know, that's pretty ingenious. I honestly think if Apple was gonna make a case for the iPad mini, this is probably what they would do. And it's a nice little angle. And it's got like, you can put it in a couple different positions. And it's like pretty sturdy, look at that. I'm tapping it pretty hard and it's not bending or folding back. So it's, it's definitely sturdy. I'm gonna try to get as much of this on camera as I can, but pairing is super simple. You're gonna go into your Bluetooth settings here. You're gonna press the power button to turn it on. You're gonna press and hold for three seconds. One, two, three. And with the blue light flashing, it's telling you it's in pairing mode. You just find the keyboard here, F22 wings. You're gonna tap that, pair it, and we're paired. So now the keyboard is automatically paired to the iPad. So we're gonna go into my notes real quick. I wanna just show you a couple of cool things here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it flat so you can see the screen here on my top camera. But you know, we're typing, right? We go here, and the keyboard's typing. I mean, it's a pretty comfortable typing experience considering it's on an iPad mini and it's tiny. But you know, we're typing, right? We're spacing, we're typing, we're typing. You can see I'm typing up here. But say you wanna go into normal iPad mode. Well, as soon as you fold it back and it's magnetically attached to the back, so it's not gonna just open on you, the keyboard stops working. So if you can see, I'm tapping here, but nothing, you can hear it. No, nothing else is being typed on because it knows it's flipped around and it turns the keyboard off. That is really cool. And it's also a trick from one of the smart keyboard folios from Apple. So you can just use it in regular iPad mode and do what you wanna do, but then you wanna go back to typing. You just flip it around. It knows it's no longer magnetically attached. Do your, you do your little, your cool little trick and then you start typing again. Super cool. And then push the power button when you're done and it completely shuts off or you can go like this and it'll lock your iPad. Go like this. It'll unlock your iPad because again, it's magnetic, magnetic, it's magnetic. It's got magnets, they're amazing. But I don't know, I think this is a cool little accessory, um, the way to charge it. So, you know, again, it does use the proprietary magnetic charger, which is a bummer, but you attach it right here magnetically. Can you see that? I'm trying to show you here on the top camera, but I'll show you here too. It's got two little notches here. You just align them and it sticks and it starts charging. And then you obviously connect this to the charger. You know, it says it gets a full charge in two hours. I do believe that. One thing I will say that seems to be kind of a bummer is that it is proprietary. I don't, I mean, I get it, it's super thin. Like where are you gonna fit a USB-C or a micro USB charger here, right? It'd be, it'd be pretty difficult. And you know, it's a sacrifice you gotta make. I'd be willing to trade this you know, for the thinness. Cause this is, I mean, honestly, it's hard to tell the difference between these two. Like I have it on this all the time. And I mean, it's gosh, I mean, just a hair thicker and you get a full keyboard case and you get like a little stand built in. I mean, this is, this is comfortable. It's clever. Like, let me show you guys, like, look at how comfortable and clever this is. Like it's like the perfect, like it's, it's tight. It's tight typing on an iPad mini if you have a keyboard for that, but this works. And honestly, I, I said it once, I'll say it again. If Apple was gonna make a keyboard case for the iPad mini, this would be it. This is the iPad mini six keyboard case that Apple would make, guaranteed. I absolutely love this product. I think it's really cool. If you're looking for a keyboard case for the iPad mini six, this is it. This is probably the best keyboard case you're gonna find. I mean, the combination, the thinness, um, magnetic enclosure. I mean, it's just a really solid product. Now it doesn't protect the side. So, you know, that is going to be open and exposed, but it does. I mean, that's what this one does, right? The sides are open. I just really like this product. I think it's really neat. So I'm super excited to have this. I carry this iPad mini six when I travel. This is like my travel iPad. 
So the fact that I can just like prop it up on like an airplane or something like that, really convenient. And you got a space for your Apple Pencil. Apple Pencil just charges very neatly right here. See, everything works, perfect, I love it. This is a cool little product. Uh, again, affiliate link down below. You can get this on Amazon. Uh, let me know what you guys think if you're in the market. Oh, one thing it doesn't do, no backlit keyboard. But I'm okay with that because the backlit keyboard would just drain more of the battery. So, you know, bummer, but I'm cool with it. Would it be nice if they had an option with backlit keyboard? Sure. Like I said, I'm cool with this. So I definitely think you guys should absolutely pick this up because this is a win. Uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you had any questions on this product or I don't know, anything else that I didn't cover, I know I didn't really cover a lot of it. I was just kind of going through it really quickly. It does look like it has a couple different memory settings for different devices, but that'd be weird because it's on the iPad. Uh, maybe you could do your phone. But anyway, this is it. This is a cool little product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like and go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, I'm gonna be using this every day. <laughs> All right, peace.